All right, welcome to another exciting video. Samsung has started rolling out the brand new update for the Galaxy S25 series. The One UI 8.5 Beta 3 is here. This is the Beta 2 here in India and Beta 3 in the other countries where the beta testing is currently going on. Let's go ahead and check out the update. Let me go to the settings here and I'll tap on software update and check for the updates. Here it is, we've got the latest build double z a3 that is the version one ui 8.5 version and there are many bugs which are being fixed and let me show you the size here it's 1262.47 mb which is a huge update and this comes with the latest january security patch if you're not on beta you may not see this update now your january security patch will come probably in a week or two from now if you've already received it drop a comment and let the community know now in the change log we don't see any new features just mentioned here so whatever we had to get on one ui 8.5 we have already got it no new features being added now it says fix the clock display error on the lock screen if you have been facing any issues with the clock on the lock screen on one ui 8.5 this is going to fix it resolve the issue related to favorites in the phone application on the phone application if you had any issues in setting the favorites or displaying the favorites here that issue has been resolved with this fix the issue where now briefing does not display some of you guys did mention that the now brief is not showing up on the lock screen and also not updating on the home screen that issue has also been fixed Improve the screen lagging issue when using live effect in the gallery. Improve the issue of high power consumption when a specific app is running. So the battery performance also will get fixed with this update. If you have been facing any battery draining issues, then this update should fix it. Then enhance the visibility of the search button on the widget addition screen. Let me press and hold on the home screen and tap on widgets. This is the search button on top and the visibility of this button has been improved if I'm not wrong. Let's update it and come back and check that out. And we'll also check if there is any new updates for the applications and the Google Play system update as well. Let me tap on resume update here. Now this will download 1.2 GB of the update and then it will verify it might take a couple of minutes. I will come back to you guys in a bit and let's check how is the device performing after this update. All right, now the phone has been updated. Let's check out the animations. Let's open a few applications and let's see if there is any lags or stutters here. Let's start with the calculator. Reminder, gallery, calendar, camera application, phone dialer, Volvo's application. Now let's go to the recent app. You see, it's working perfectly fine. No jitters here. Let's close some of them close all now let's open the quick panel let's see then notification panel now let's directly open the notification panels here i already have a good number of notifications here no starters here at all works perfectly fine let's go to the lock screen let's see if there is any issue here no no starters there i did notice some starter before the update now there is no starter on the lock screen animation it's working perfectly fine let's see if lock star is working on the lock screen let's go to the customization page here no it still disappears as you can see uh, when i open the customization page it just pops up for a brief uh, moment of time the lock star uh, module and then it just disappears i can't really tap here and open the lock star so that's an issue probably we have to get an update for lock star module on good lock now let's go to the galaxy store and see if there is any update available for the applications no there is no new updates here now let's go to the settings and tap on security and privacy and let's tap on updates and let's see what is the Google Play system that we have. Now we have got the November update here. Let me tap on this. It says your device is up to date. So we still have the November patch for the Google Play system. After that, we have not got any update for the Galaxy S25 series. And the S24 series is still stuck on September update. I don't know for what reason these updates are getting delayed for the Galaxy phones. The Google Play system update also fixes a lot of security vulnerabilities and it makes the device run smoother. Uh, for some reason, we are not seeing those updates on the Galaxy phone. So that's an issue. Let me know for which month you have received the Google Play system. Now, as far as the battery performance is concerned on the One UI 8.5, 
uh, it's been pretty good i don't see any improvement as such it has been similar to the one ui 8 battery performance or one ui 7 battery performance i'm getting about six to seven hours of screen on time on a normal usage if i use heavily then probably about five to six hours of screen on time and if there is a lot of media consumption then the screen on time can cross seven to eight hours so it completely depends on your usage an average six to seven hours of screen on time with a couple of hours of media consumption is still a good battery performance on one ui this is something which i wanted to keep you guys updated about the all new one ui 8.5 beta 3 has arrived without any new features a lot of bug fixes and stability improvements and along with the latest january security patch for the s25 series that's about it hope you have already subscribed to the channel if you subscribe to the channel and become a part of apex community you will not miss out on any updates new features tips and tricks and tech related content so go ahead subscribe and don't forget to hit the like button for this video thanks a lot for watching you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye